Good evening and welcome to my study. <laughs> I haven't used that picture for a while to open up the show. But I felt using it today. My name is Ron, I'm your host, and it's my pleasure to share a daily devotional with you. Something that'll give you a pause to think meditate on, stay close to God. And we have a knee slapper tonight. We're in Jonah. He was in the fish. Uh, he got spit up on the shore. Let's see what happens next. Then the Lord spoke to Jonah a second time. Get up and go to the great city of Nineveh and deliver this message, deliver the message I have given you. So the, this time Jonah obeyed the Lord's command and went to Nineveh, a city so large it took three days to see it all. On the day Jonah entered the city, he shouted to the crowds, Forty days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed. Now, I'm sure his message was probably a little bit longer than that. But here's what happened. The people of Nineveh believed God's message, and from the greatest to the least, they declared a fast and put on burlap to show their sorrow. When the king of Nineveh heard that Jonah, what Jonah was saying, he stepped down from his throne and took off his royal robes. He dressed himself in burlap and sat on a heap of ashes. That must have been some kind of Billy Graham moment. convince everybody to turn from their sin. Let's go on. When God saw what they had done and how they had put a stop to their evil ways, he changed his mind and did not carry out the destruction he had threatened. Hallelujah! <laughs> everybody must have been overjoyed. Well, not everyone. This change of plans greatly upset Jonah, and he became very angry. So he complained to the Lord about it. Didn't I say before I left home that you would do this, Lord? That is why I ran away to Tarshish. I knew that you are a merciful and compassionate God slow to anger, and filled, filled with unfailing love. You are eager to turn back from destroying people. Just kill me now, Lord. I'd rather be dead than alive if what I predicted will not happen. The Lord replied, is it right for you to be angry about this? I can understand Jonah being a little upset. God told him to tell the people of Nineveh that they were about to be destroyed. Period. But they repented and God forgave them. I don't think I would have wanted to have been Jonah when you make a prediction and it doesn't come true. Yeah. But that's main line of the story is 
God is has unfailing love for us. That's just amazing. Just another example. And there's something to meditate on. You all have a great night. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. And the verse for this week is still Ephesians 6, verse 15. I'm going to start with 14. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the breastplate of God's righteousness. And verse 15. For choose, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. Amen. Mm -hmm.